We've got 12 pound of chips here. Yeah. What we prepared earlier. Yes. Right. We're going to put them into the pan. How long have they been out of water? They've been out of water an hour. Right, okay. So you, you think a good hour out of water? To yeah, so they're nice and dry. Yeah. Okay. So you're not wet yeah, at all. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to put them in the pan. Yeah. Into a corner. Yeah. And pour the bucket away from you. Right, yeah. So you don't get any fresh splat back on you. Right. Okay. Put all the bucket in. And it's important now to close the lid. Yeah. Obviously, one of the things that we can notice is that as soon as the chips are going in, the actual needle goes back quite quickly. Yeah. Albeit the pan's obviously going to cut in, in in a few seconds, the actual dial will still go back and it'll. You, you, the burner. Yeah, the burner's just cut in, okay, but it'll probably go back to maybe 120, 130 before it actually settles. Okay. So it'll drop 60 degrees? Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, if we weren't going to fry quite as many chips, we won't have our starting temperature quite as hot That's as hot. that, okay? Because maybe if we're a bit quiet, we only wanted a few portions of chips at the end of the evening to serve maybe the last few customers, and we only put in half a bucket, okay? We wouldn't really want to be putting them in at 185, yeah. otherwise they could be brown and almost burnt before we'll they were cooked. The chips, so yeah. Uh, we would have to alter the temperature slightly to be perfectly honest okay so I think already the temperature is back to you know to 150 so it's slowly going back yeah up again. slowly going back okay obviously depending on how dry the chips were where is exactly how far it's going to go back yeah but they've only now been in a few seconds and the temperature's gone already from 185 down to 150 coming into the marketplace now are some high efficiency ranges and invariably they're in excess of 90% gas efficient. Okay, right. So you save considerable amounts of money on, on, on your gas bill right away. Okay, And some manufacturers will even say that you can cook product quicker in them because very often uh, you don't have to have as much fat or as much oil in the pans and even the frying temperatures uh, w will vary from a traditional range. Okay, Now we're going to lift the lid. Yeah. Have a look. Okay. You can see how the chips are sticked together. Yeah. Not okay. separated. And, and, and the fat bubbling away like that actually tells us that that fat is good, it's clean and it's good fresh. Okay? Yeah. If it was uh, shot and dark and, and of poor quality, the bubbles would all... First of all, there would be a lot of froth, okay? but secondly, the bubbles would be just uh, flat for the want of a better term. Okay? You can see now if there was too much fat in the pan, yeah. the, the fat will boil over. Yes, yeah. That's quite yeah. important. Yeah. So it's obviously important not to overfill the, the pans either fat or oil. Okay. Then we'll close the lid. Yeah. Now I'm going to give it 30 seconds. Yeah. I'm going to give them a good shake. Right. Okay. So why do you do that? Um, I don't like to shake the chips too early. Right. So the fat can seal the chips. Yes. And not let any excess water right, out. Yeah. That also breaks yeah. down the frying right, medium. Yeah. Okay. okay. So obviously frying at these temperatures, the same as the fish. If we put them in at around 185, okay, it's that hot that actually seals the product, and the same with the chips, obviously. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The last thing you want is a greasy chip. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right now, I'll slowly just give them a little shuffle, and again close the lid. Yeah. Okay. So, what about the others that you didn't actually turn? Are you not worried they may stick to the bottom, or are you happy that you know they're okay? At this point, yes, I do want to move all the chips, right, but yeah. also I don't want to move them too early because right, okay. I don't want the, the fat seeping right, into okay. the chips yeah. to get them too greasy. Right. So, You'll see now I've moved all the chips, yeah. so now stick to the bottom of yeah. the pan and burn. They're all cooking nice and evenly there. Yeah. Again, closing the lid. Okay, yeah. okay. So what sort of temperature are we at now? Yeah, see, we're still at 150, so it's yeah. not dropped much below 150. No. Okay, but it's obviously not rising yet because that tells us that the chips are nowhere near cooked. That's right. Yeah? It's not as okay. hot as what it was. Right, yeah. Alright Dougie, let's see that the chips are look almost ready now. Yeah, they look almost cooked to me, Chris. What I'm gonna do is just pinch one. Be nice and soft. So when you're pinching it, what are you feeling for? So making sure that the chip's nice and soft. Yeah. Obviously you've got to be quick. Yeah. It's quite hot. Yeah. Nice and crisp. You'll notice again that the utensil has plenty of holes in. Yeah. I think what I've noticed that uh, actually, actually some fryers do when they, when they actually take them out, they tend yeah. to, I've noticed that they give them a real good bang before they actually right. take them out, okay? So. 
I don't know. Everybody has their own uh, ways of doing things. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I found one of the benefits of, of knocking the chips off before you actually put them in there, you've got less fat going in on, on, in the, on top of the chips. Yeah. yeah. I will point out, it's also, you've got the quite quick. Yes. You want to get this lid shut. Yeah. Keep the chips warm. I sip my pans almost as often as much as I can. I'm sure now if we actually went into the centre of that pan, we would probably just get something out of the centre of it, okay? Yeah, I mean, it's not a great deal, but it's not, the one thing that it's not doing, is not doing it any good, you know. And it um, is going to stick to your chips. Correct, okay. And yeah, the next time we put a pan of chips in there, it will actually stick stick to the chip. So again, whilst that's not a lot of um, waste in the bottom, the last thing that we need is actually in the pan. So we just get that out of there. Same thing again there now. Okay. Right, Dougie, okay. all the chips are ready. Put a portion on the tray. That'll do for me. They look pretty good to me. I'm gonna have to have one, Chris, it's no good. I have to get some salt vinegar on the go.